The former European Commission president, Jacques Delors, has died at the age of 98. He was considered to be the architect of modern Europe, a passionate advocate in the 1980s and 90s of closer European integration, and a man who played a key role in the design of the euro and creation of the single market. Adam Fleming looks back at his life. He was the architect of modern Europe. In the 80s and 90s, the president of the European Commission thought the EU should come more closely together, socially, economically and politically. Some British Conservatives reacted in horror. No, no, no. Born to a working-class, devoutly Catholic family, Jacques Delors first became a banker. In 1981, President Mitterrand appointed him finance minister. Four years later, he headed for Brussels. Good friends, they certainly aren't, but... Monsieur Margaret Thatcher signed up to the Single European Act, which tore down barriers to trade. But Delors then championed something she couldn't stomach. This government has no intention of agreeing to the imposition of a single currency. The Iron Lady saw him as Europe's new Bonaparte. That would be entering a federal Europe through the back de law. <laughs> the Sun said the same, in less diplomatic language. In 1992, the Maastricht Treaty laid the foundations of the Euro. Let's look to the future. With economic and monetary union, the 12 member countries can hope to draw the greatest possible benefit of a common economic area with its social dimension too. Arguments over that future led to the downfall of Margaret Thatcher and John Major. Here, Gordon. Tony Blair and Gordon Brown disagreed on joining the Euro. In 2016, Britain decided enough was enough and left. The British people have spoken and the answer is we're out. At times, financial crises in Europe have been blamed on the way the single currency was constructed. But the high priest of European integration never had a doubt. Jacques Delors, who died in Paris today at the age of 98.